Hello and welcome to 7 Minute Guitar. Also check us out on Facebook.com slash 7 Minute Guitar for the resources that are used in these videos. So today we're going to go over the E major chord, the five different locations you'll find on the neck of the guitar, and we'll introduce the E major scale. Tomorrow we'll go over extensively the E major scale and connect it throughout the neck. So by this point, you know how to make an E chord. There it is. You can also make it with your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. The next E chord location from there is here. It's a D form. It's slid up two frets from the D. And if you switch out your fingers, and put in your index finger back here, we have our E chord. From this position, of course, the next chord is a C chord. If we change out and make our C chord with our root node here on the seventh fret and make a C chord, we can have ourselves an E chord. you bar this down here, you can have five strings of the E chord. Little tidbit I forgot to show is since this is an E major chord, you can also play it in this form with the fingers raised up and let the low E note play. So you have an E note, you have another E note, that's an octave, you have your third note, you have your fifth note, you have an another E note, and then this high string plays that same E note. From this position, this is still your root note, but now we move to our A form. Place your finger, you can bar it there, and then of course, whether you're barring with your ring finger, or like me, with a pinky finger, because the ring finger doesn't bend back far enough, and you have your E note. Again, with this, you can play this lower note, this lower E string, because and if your fingers are flexible enough, you could even let this high E string play during that chord. And lastly, from this position, your next form is the G form, and this is an E major. Bar your finger here at the ninth fret and make your G chord, and here you have a G major. Interesting little tidbit, if you so wanted a really deep bass note out of this, you could move your fingers around, let's say put your ring finger here, and put your first two fingers there. Let me show you where they're at. And then play all six strings. Still in E major, just some alternate voicing. Now let's introduce the scales. Now here at the head of the neck with open strings, it kind of will look a little bit like a D form scale. We've, we've got our, lo our low E, here's just one octave, now you have a choice, you can either hit this B note like you would in a D form, or you can let it ring open with that B, uh, B string. Okay, did that help? So let's make sure we got that by going through it one more time. So there's one octave. And that's the E 
E-form up here at the open strings. The unique aspect about doing the E major scale here with the open strings is that it so blends nicely into the D form major scale that you can use your root note here with the open string E or right here with where we normally start. Now we're going to start there because we're familiar with that scale form because we're now doing the D form E major scale started from. We're running low on time, so I'm going to have to go through these fast. But from this point forward, we just review the forms. Our C form major scale. Our A form major scale. And of course our G form major scale. Thanks for joining me today for 7 Minute Guitar. Please thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out facebook.com slash 7 Minute Guitar for photos of the scales used in this video.